guys welcome back to the channel this is episode 3 of let's play the sims 3 pets alrighty so I'm just gonna go ahead and just premise this preface this at the beginning I'm currently sick right now so if you can hear like the congestion in my voice I apologize I'm just trying to pre-record right now because as this video is being uploaded I'm actually out of town so anyways that's beyond the point we're currently looking at Cherie she is making a phone call because she's planning a party uh it's leisure day yes it's leisure day so we're gonna head to smugglers cove um for the party I told you guys in the last episode at the end of the last episode oh can I not plan a party there why not I might have to be like a that's so weird um I might have to change the type of lot it is all right so I changed the lot type to a big park or a no not a big park I changed it just to a beach it was like at it was under visitors allowed so we'll see if this time it'll allow us to throw a party there um yes awesome all right so we're gonna throw a beach party uh, it won't be exclusive access, because uh, one, we don't got that money, but two, I also want to meet some new people. So it'll be swimwear, and we're going to, of course, write Romeo. Ooh, we should invite Weston. Yes, let's invite Weston. Julian, haha, <laughs> boo you wish. No, <laughs> um, Vladimir, we can invite him. We were talking to him last time, last episode. Um, I wish we could invite, like, people... Anthony knows. Well, he doesn't really know anyone. You know, we'll invite, we'll just invite a bunch of randoms. Just whoever shows up, shows up. We'll invite this old man too. Hopefully he doesn't die at our party. I feel like that's a theme. Sims always like to die at parties in The Sims 3. All right, anyways. Um, what time should we make it for? Let's make it for three. Is that too late? Should we do two? No, let's just do three. That sounds good. All right, so swimwear, 3 p.m., that looks good. All right, party start at 3 p.m. I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Mm, okay, trying to fight through this video. We're trying to push through. Uh, my voice keeps giving out. All right, but Cherie, your needs are pretty up. I think you can shower. Let's take a shower with Flair because... um. I guess your hygiene could be doing better. Anthony, you need to get yo ass up. <laughs> um, wakey wakey. Eggs and bakey. <laughs> no, but can you make your bed? Nope, of course. You're hungry. Can't do that. And we're going to eat some leftover waffles. Oh, and Anthony wants to learn Jessica and Matilda's. Okay, so they want to learn these two people's signs. I think I invited them to the party. Hopefully I did. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't I don't really remember what happened last episode, to be completely honest. Um, alrighty. So, I'm just going ahead and get this done. Cherie, oh, why are you wearing your swimsuit? Oh, well, I guess, yeah, the party. I don't really like the swimsuit on her. I kind of want to change it to, like, a fun pattern. Can we do that before we actually go? Let's plan our outfit. Alright, here we are. So, swimwear. I do like the idea of her in a in a full piece. Or a, yeah, full piece? That's, what is this called? Body swimsuit? I don't even know. Alright, but I liked this one. This, this is the one I was thinking. I like that. I think I want to change it to this color, though. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I also, I wanted to, um, I want to, uh, hire a DJ. I'm not sure, I've never done this before, that feature came with Showtime, but I want to see how that works. So after we make this bed, I'm just going to have her go to the beach. Where am I going? Where, where is this lot? Here it is. We're just going to have her go straight here. Oh, should we have, we should have them carpool. Oh, yes, we should have them carpool. Just go together, because they cost money. Cabs cost money. 
Cherie was invited to Romeo's party. Of course Romeo's throwing a party. Of course Romeo's throwing a party. Um, is watch it be like at the same time ours is. Oh, it's at 6 p.m. We might be there. We'll just say I'll be there. We might not. We'll see. What? Okay. You guys didn't see that, but it said they both had to pay money even in the same taxi. That does not make any sense. So I just spent $40 for them to be in the same freaking taxi. That is, that is gypped. No, I don't like that. But here they are. Oh, like I said in the last video, I don't know if some of you guys remember, but this renovation of Smuggler's Cove is by the Plum Dot. I love her. She is a really great builder. She makes Sims 3 videos. And I'll link this, her, her speed build she did on this down below because it's honestly so good. And who is this? Richie Stryker. Romeo's oh Romeo's here with his speedo all right all right boo uh, like honestly guys I have to oh he's ripped too oh I actually did not expect that but <laughs> Romeo's here in his little speedo just gotta get that picture he's thinking about himself all right <laughs> anyways I want Sheree to actually quickly I want to see if we can hire a DJ call for sir you can only call for service on your home lot. Oh, so I guess you can only, you can't, you can only hire a DJ and stuff at, if you're throwing a party at your house. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. Because this is like, a, they got a little DJ booth here. Quite a few people have shown up. We're going to go ahead and have uh, Cherie come over here and talk to Romeo. Um, let's go ahead and ask about his day. Let's shock a bra let's just get romantic let's give risky woohoo woo girl okay we'll flirt a little bit um all right you anthony weston schaefer let's have you talk to who's this layla peck is that one of the people she's interesting he's interested in no matilda smart why is david always here David is always freaking here. Alright, I would love um, Jessica to show up. So, can we actually invite her over? We'll wait a little bit. If they show up, though, they show up. Let's go ahead and be friendly to this dude, Weston. I guess, just to pass the time. And if Jessica and Matilda don't show up, like, we'll... Who's this? We'll call them over. I can't see who this is. Raphael Stryker. Ooh. Alright. Ooh, the music's a bop. And I got my music on this time. <laughs> oh, and there's a mixologist over here. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even realize that. Alright. This is a really nice, like, beach party lot. Uh, the Plum Dot, even in her build, she had this little store content, which, like, had, a pe had like, uh, the surfing, surfing store content. And she put it here. Well, she ended up removing it, but, like, it looked really cool in the screenshots. Because, you know, it wasn't functional in the lake, but it still looked really cool. Alright. Uh, oh, is that Matilda? Matilda Smart. Oh, is that the girl that was in the bar? Oh, yeah. Um, girl, what is this outfit? Um, yeah, that's got to go. Let's greet her. I want to get to this Jessica girl because I don't know who she is. Layla Peck. We should also talk to her. Oh, who's this? Is this Jessica? Bridget Hemlock. I don't know who that is. All right. Let's go ahead and get this sped up. So we're Shaka Brawing and we're flirting with him. I want to get Tim to be our boyfriend. That would actually be really cool if we could do that this episode. Real quick. All right. So they're enjoying each other. He's liking it. Let's go ahead and be romantic. Is he flirty? He's flirty. Oh, so he'll like he'll like us like being all romantic with him. Giving him a Morris hug. And let's hold his hand. And I think afterwards we'll kiss. We'll do a Actually, well it depends. It depends. Take a romantic photo together. Just keep doing stuff until he's like, we know he's feeling it. Alright, we're gonna greet Layla Peck. Where is she? 
why why isn't she why isn't he coming over man hello this man's what you doing all right there he is he's coming over greet this girl yeah she's not that bad looking she she is not that bad looking oh look at this look at this bridgeport sunset Ooh, girl gotta get these pictures this isn't exactly the most lit party, but you know, it's uh it's it's happening. Ooh, and these lights. These lights too. This adds to it. Alright. Um Cherie, come over here. What are you doing? Oh, he put on his suit. Oh, he put on his suit and tie. Who is this? Who is that? She oh that's Jess oh that's Jessica all right um Anthony Anthony um all right so she so she's some, some questionable style but I know I'm not here to question someone's fashion sense uh, we'll we'll work that out that's that's you know we can we can get through that let's go ahead and actually um. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the heat of the moment kiss. I'm just gonna go for it. Anthony, you are greeting her. Go ahead and swipe something. Ooh, we should do that. Alright, but we're going to complain about baby. Because <laughs> that's attractive. Um, enthused about the outdoors. And let's consider her attractiveness. And then Jessica. Oh no, that's not, that's Bridget. Then we're going to go over to Bridget, and we're going to ask to turn. We're going to greet her. All right, but let's go back to Cherie and Romeo. What are you guys doing? No, where is he going? Why is he... Oh. Why is he over here? All right. I don't know. They're taking a picture together. Look at them. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, really bad at these camera controls. <laughs> That's actually a cute picture. I like that. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, and let's see how he responds to this heat of the moment kiss. Oh. Alright. Alright. She's going in. Oh. Oh. Yes. He's into it. He is... <laughs> Oh, they're just eating each other's faces off. Well, that went over well. Can we go ahead and just ask him to be our boyfriend? Can we do that? Um. Let's see. Oh, he just left. All right, he just skirted on out of there. Um, Romeo keeps like... You know, I keep wanting to make him to be our boyfriend, but then he always keeps just leaving us randomly, and I'm always just kind of confused. We're gonna go ahead and have Cherie actually come over here and light the bonfire. Anthony, can we actually... I don't know if you consider her attractiveness. Well, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and, let's see, romantic. Can we just ask her sign? Or is that under friendly with the woohoo or mod? Ask sign, yeah. Let's ask her sign. Let's see if we're compatible. All right, and Cherie's going to watch the bonfire over here. She's warming her little hands over here. Look, look at her. Oh, that's such a cute picture. Oh, I love that. Anyways, let's see what their signs are, see if they're compatible. And then Cherie, you can actually come over here, order a drink, order a woohoo on the beach. All right. I don't know if our signs are compatible or not. She's an Aries. I don't know what that means. Let's go and be romantic. Let's flirt with her. Let's do we a pickup line. Can we order a drink for her? Let's see. Order a drink for Sim. Uh, let's order a starry sea for Jessica. Oh, she's not liking that. Maybe she'll like the drink. Oh, oh, oh. So he's, he's in a relationship. All right. So maybe... Anthony is honestly, he's not like a bad guy. I think he would try to sort of make up for it with a drink. Oh, unless she left. Alright, man, you, you lost your chance. 
<laughs> you lost your chance. Come on, just light the bonfire. <laughs> Maybe you'll just grab your own drink later. This is wow. This is such a fail of a party. This is yeah. Th this needs needs some work. <laughs> oh, Anthony. <laughs> Poor him. Why did these things happen to him? Sheree's party was a modest su su little success. Yeah, um, unfortunately. Let's actually go ahead and come over here. Let's have him get a pomegranate passion. Why not? Alright, well, that looks really good. This drink. Oh, Sheree Peter Pants. Uh, whatever. But look at that drink. That looks really good. Let's have Sheree just come over here in the ocean and just, uh... Swim with flair. Yes. We missed you at the party, Sheree. You hope we can make it next time. Romeo, you were at my party. Don't even act. Don't even act. Alright. But yeah, that, that was my horrible party. Uh, one day. One day I'll get good at parties. Maybe. <laughs> I always say that and I never am good at them. But uh, I am think I'm going to go ahead and send these sins home and I will meet you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, good morning. So today I had like Anthony and Cherie sleep in a little bit longer. It's literally 12 p.m. Anthony just woke up and sort of got his day started. He's going on a little jog just to get his athletic skill up, get his you know stuff off his mind. He's still trying to figure out what he wants to do, who he wants to be, and he's just you know going on a little morning jog. Cherie, I had her go to work today. She's exhausted. She like got like no sleep. I always have this mistake where I have my sims do things at night and then I forget what time it is and it's like 3 a.m. Girl, why are you wearing like these like stripper clothes? Like why are you wearing your bathing suit? Alright, girl, you need to fix that. <laughs> I'll have her change into her every day because I don't know why she's wearing this. Her job performance is so bad. <laughs> but she actually got a mood lit. She wants to change jobs, which I mean, I don't blame her. Like, being a janitor at a subway station is not fun. But she needs to, you know, obviously she loves music. She has a passion for it. Uh, and I don't really know what what that entails for her. You know? Um, maybe it entails going to school. I like going to school, maybe, for fine arts. I don't know. Maybe she's going to become, wants to become an independent artist. We'll see where that takes her. Uh, but she definitely wants to get out of the position that she's in right now. Uh, oh! <gasps> Rainbow! <gasps> Did you guys just see? Oh! Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Alrighty, but... I think Anthony, even in the last episode, he was kind of thinking about careers that sort of have to do with high discipline and high... Um, it will cause him to sort of structure himself a little bit. He was thinking about law enforcement, and I even suggested military. And he, he thought about athletic career, and he is pretty athletic. But I was thinking that we could actually involve, a, a, like, um, apply him in the military career. I think that'll be good for him. So, he's just about done with his job. Oh, Cherie, she's just standing out here naked butt naked but we're gonna have her send uh, we're gonna send her home I can't speak <laughs> and she's gonna go to sleep because she's very very tired but Anthony he is I think deciding that he wants to go into the military career so I want to find where that is first of all I think it's over here the military base I honestly have no idea it might be over here oh it's at city hall I didn't even see that join military career I think he's going to do it. And if he doesn't like it, you know, he can stop. Um, but, yeah. Alright, I think he's going to go ahead and do that. He's going to go ahead and just stop his jog right now. He's almost at the end. I had him jog to, like, right here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get his military job. And I'm very excited. He seems to be happy also. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Ooh, before Cherie goes home, or goes to sleep, I mean... I think we're going to go ahead and have her write a love letter to Romeo Rake because she wants to do that. She's had this one for a little while. She also wants to learn a mixology skill, which I definitely want her to do. I want to get her a bar. Um, I mean, we could have her moonlight up bars, but or we should probably get her a skill book first, but I definitely want to get her a bar, so we'll do that. 
Look at her writing her little love letter. You know. Little Miss Cherie. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and have her go to sleep. Uh, and let's uh, catch up with um, Mr. Anthony. Look at him go. Getting that military career. Oh, all right. So we're going to be a latrine cleaner. How fun. In the military, you'll have the chance to protect loved ones and possibly even travel to space as an astronaut. You'll need to be in a top physical condition and know how to fix a thing or two. Attention, soldier. Let's accept this career. That's a snazzy car. Margaret. He smells like a booty hole, but you know, it's fine. It's all good. All right. So, I'm taking a lot of pictures. But, um, yeah, he starts 4, 4 a.m. Oh, Lord. All right. But this is definitely going to be a sort of sort of wake-up call for Anthony. Um, where... Oh, where'd he go? He's just bolting off. I don't even know where he's going. Um, he... Okay, this smoking thing is getting him in a really bad mood lit. Can we go ahead and just have him have a smoke? <laughs> because I want him to be in a better mood. I think what we're gonna do is... What should we do tonight? Honestly, I don't know what to do tonight. Should we have... I don't really want to have him go out. He's sort of just figuring... Figuring stuff out right now. He did get his new... His new job. Which is good. He's wearing his little... As his formal wear. I don't know why. But... <laughs> I like it on him. I like this getup. It's so dark. All right, but I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this episode off right here. Um, yeah. Um, so stuff happened. We threw a really bad party. Um, my Sims can literally never throw good parties. I'm trying to make him make like a normal face. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll just use this. So we threw a bad party. Um, Anthony joined the military. And I think he's going to try this out and see where this can take him and how this can shape him as a, you know, as a character and supply him some money. So hopefully he, you know, will be better off on his own when he decides he wants to move out. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Sims 3 Pets. My voice is still not great, but it's been better as I've been drinking this tea throughout this episode. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Bye, you guys.